Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am just going to do a quick unboxing. There are only two types of product in here. This is from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Um, they're having a kind of crazy clearance sale on stuff. Um, one of my viewers had emailed me and pointed it out and I appreciate them very much for that. She knows who she is, um, but thank you again. Um, she pointed it out to me for the alcohol inks, but when I went to the page, I was so excited because of these. Did I buy some inks? You betcha. Did I get some beads? You bet. Let me grab this so my address is visible. So, um, yeah, my list is quite long, but can you see the price over here? 50 cents. 50 cents. Uh, 98 cents was the shipping insurance, which I'm glad I got the way this was shipped, but it seems okay. And then $1.90, $2. So the inks were a dollar ninety for my pinatas, so I got a sunbright yellow and a calabaza orange. You guys know I love to use these on my fire tumblers, as well as like my camo tumblers. So I got another ember, a Valencia orange, a honeycomb, which I can't remember if I had honeycomb at all or not. I also got another dandelion and a lemonade, yellows. I'm, I was about out of yellows if you saw my fire tumbler. And because I can't help myself, everything else is blues and aquas. I got stonewashed, which I haven't had in forever. Turquoise. Denim, which I also have not had in forever. Pool, again, been out quite some time. I got the Pinata Sapphire Blue, which I don't know if I've ever owned. I got the Aqua Laguna, and I got Clover, which is, um, I don't think I've ever had. So that is what I got for inks. Okay, and this is what really got me at the 50 cents. This is my Marabou Easy Marble collection. It fits in this tiny little box from Dollar Tree. Yeah, purples and blues and two um, metallics. This is my new Easy Marble collection because at 50 cents each, I basically bought everything they had at the time I ordered. Um, yes, I did pay shipping, so the price was a little bit up, and um, I have a mess in this bag. I am so glad these are bagged because this is going to be um, kind of unpleasant to clean up. I'm going to grab a pair of gloves. Because I don't really plan to file a insurance claim on this for shipping. But I will probably just try and clean them up as long as none of the jars are like empty. I'm going to start with this one because it's cleaner. I got the rose taupe. The ruby red. light green they go in or color order the middle color is the American name this is a rose gold metallic this is a copper metallic pearl white kind of metallic shimmery 
lavender, which I do believe I have. Pine green. Neon pink. Mahogany. Rich green, which I think this is the one that leaked because it's also on this one, which is cherry red. Steel blue. This might be the leaker. Light blue. It's still pretty full though. There's also some orange dripped in here. Ultramarine, which is a restock. Gray blue. This might be the one that leaked, in fact. Rosewood. This one's not terrible. Just got a little bit on it. Lemon. Neon orange. Cappuccino. Aubergine, which is a restock. Night blue. Olive brown. Which this one just has a tiny bit of blue on it. I did buy a crystal clear, but if you remember, I had three crystal clears that all kind of gelled up, and I'm not really sure why. So hopefully this one will hold till I can use these. This one is called Reseda. This one is the gray. Um, what they didn't have when I ordered was like the black and the white were out of stock. So I still need to get those at some point. This one's called Mistletoe. Emerald. Orange. And this one is a neon yellow. Rose pink. Antique pink, magenta, medium yellow, which is kind of an orangey color. This one got a lot of the blue on it. Sundown magenta. Even the ones I suspect are leaking are still really full, so I'm not terribly concerned. Neon green. Cocoa. Raspberry. Which is good. Grape. And last but not least, antique silver, which is a metallic. So, um, I definitely had one of the oranges, the light blue, and a light green leak in here, which I think the Reseda is the only light green that came out of there, so it almost had to be that. But, that is what I got from Mr. Nola's. Um, I think there's like 40 of these. So there are 40 new colors here. Not necessarily new, I think two. I think the over aubergine three. The ultramarine, the aubergine, and the lavender are the only three that I already had. And I do use a lot of purples, so that's fine. So I got 40 of these and then 15 inks. So 
a pretty good haul. I was pretty pleased. Um, again, a little bit of a nuisance having to clean these up, but what are you going to do? You're going to clean them up and you're going to carry on. I'm going to get all these inks on my shelf. I've been clearing room and probably going to use some of the blues actually almost immediately in a video. And these, unfortunately, um, we're going to be holding off on using until spring. So I'm going to get them cleaned up, put away. But I'm pretty excited to see, you know, like, what the neons are going to do together. I'm also going to look and see if there are other neon colors that she just didn't have in stock or whatever. To add to them. But I am excited to have other colors because I cannot do a spray paint hydro dip to save my life but these I very much enjoy working with even though they have the extra step of sealing at the end so goodies to look forward to for spring and uh, she does definitely still have stuff for sale I did check before I recorded um, I don't know that everything's still in stock but there's still a lot of stock so Mr. Nola's glitter check it out uh, shipping was a little bit pricey but Overall, it really didn't matter. So even if I said these were all a dollar, I don't care. It was worth every penny of that. Just popping on quick because I am cleaning these up now so I can put them away somewhere immediately. Um, I am finding, and they're not going to be perfect. This is actually one of my old bottles. Um, but they're not going to clean up 100% perfect, but I'm not really worried about it because this is one of my old bottles. As soon as you start handling them, you're going to get them dirty anyways, but I don't want to put them away with anything wet. But I am finding just regular 91% alcohol. is cleaning them up pretty well so I am perfectly okay with the job this is doing I mean if it eats off some of the barcode or whatever I don't really care as long as I'm not gonna get filthy right off the bat I'm even like wiping down my old ones a little bit So I can get them put away too. Um, you might want to know why I'm not going to file a claim on this. Um, this happens. If you buy enough art supplies, you know things get messy sometimes in transit. Nothing's really ruined. I know it looked like a lot in the package, but it really wasn't. And, um... I'm just not, I'm not into filing a claim on something that's really still usable. It's just not my style to do that. So I will clean them up as good as I can and carry on. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that leaked and it is still full. It just looks like a lot when it's leaking in the package like that. So, I paid for the insurance in case something catastrophic happened to the entire package, but nothing really did. So, I'll just clean them up, make sure they're not yucky, yucky, yucky for current storage. And just like that, my collection went from fitting in this little teeny box to this. One more question, though. Does anybody have a full color list? I mean, absolutely everything for the Easy Marbles. Um, these probably won't live in here permanently because it's actually a lot of wasted space. But um, do you have, like, a full color checklist? Because I'd like to know what I'm missing other than, obviously, the black, the white... 
Um, I know there's more glitter ones, but I don't necessarily want the glitter ones. Um, but I'd like to see the full color range. So that's it. Uh, thank you. And I will see you next time.